Before we begin, the first thing to emphasize is, if we have a damaged PCB, these cannot be easily repaired. Water leaking into the motor housing is luck of the draw, with some never leaking. If the PCB is faulty, you need a donor. We are going to start with a non-working robot. This is a Matronix DB2 or X30 or S200. The robot has stopped and we will go through an extensive repair. Start by opening up the robot motor block. I use a thick metal tool to open the seal. If water has entered the housing, the seal is often under pressure. Water inside the block seems to create a suction pressure. Be careful not to damage the plastics. There's so much force to open this thing. You'll see how much pressure is inside. Whoa! See what's inside. Yep, she's full of water. If the robot has been sitting for years, the internal moisture will have spread. The moisture bag has been soaked. There's water in there. As long as the PCB works, we are good. You can see that everywhere. So we're just going to unplug the motors to see if the, see if the board's any good. The PCB has it's signs of working. corrosion, but still works. The drive motor is seized. The impeller motor is looking terrible. The robot cable has deteriorated badly. The previous owner never removed it from the pool except to clean it. Even with the wires sticking out of the sheath, there is still continuity. Always avoid cutting the cable if that section is to be submerged. Strengthen the cable at this point. I use some epoxy resin. We try and straighten the wire. Once it has set, we can remove the cable. I carefully grind this down, making sure we do not trim near the wires. Thin layer of silicone sealant will make the area rubbery again. This definitely does not look great. It works and prevents the wire breaking though. You can try heat shrink tubing but you will need to cut the power supply end. The end plug is moulded and cannot be removed. You could cut the plug off and join an aftermarket plug on. These aftermarket plugs are quite costly though. I can show you how to add heat shrink tube over the repairs in another video. The drive motor has a gearing setup. Use a large 32mm socket. Undo the motor from the plastic housing mount. This allows you to get to the gearbox. Undo the screws. 
Often the motor works, but the gears are jammed. Check to make sure bearings are not seized. Sometimes the bearings are spinning freely. If they are seized, a hydraulic press is handy to change the bearings. Often the gearing setup just needs to be greased and oiled. It is quite rare to see a drive motor actually giving a fault. You can take the drive motor apart, but it is difficult to reassemble. Use a liberal amount of silicone grease when reassembling. You can see the base of the impeller motor has been sitting in water. We use a Dremel and grind off the corrosion. The impeller motor was actually running. The water damage has affected the motor. See this spring, it used to hold the brush onto the motor. The spring is supposed to look like this. We will take this donor spring. Lift the donor spring off. The motor stopped running because the spring had broken. The new spring will keep the carbon brush conducting. Brake cleaner is used because all YouTube videos use it. This is clean enough. But we use the Dremel to clean up the contacts of the shaft. We test the bearings are spinning freely. Place new silicone grease on all shafts and O-rings. We test the repaired impeller motor. 900 milliamp current draw at 24 volts is fine. The drive motor is fixed. The impeller motor is fixed. We test it. Note the directional vane does not move. A jammed servo motor will also stop your robot. This is a faulty one. This is a good one. I did not bother trying to fix the servo motor. I just swapped out the better one. So the one on the left is the good one. Water has seeped in and corroded the servo on the, on on the right. Ok, 
Okay, when powered out of water, the drive motor will spin, the directional vane will move, the impeller will spin, the motors sense less water resistance, the robot then stops. Thanks for watching.